Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Saurabh Dikshit and welcome to Surgery Dada. So in this series, I'm going to tell you about a very, very, very important instrument that every surgeon is in love for and that instrument is a harmonic scalpel. So do you know that harmonic scalpel works on the principle of ultrasicon technology? Now what is this ultrasicon? The instrument that is used here can be a laparoscopic one. So this is a 36 centimeter probe. This is a small open probe. But they all have one thing in common that is they have a piezoelectric material and whenever the current flows through that piezoelectric material there's an intense vibration and these vibrations are using itself to cut or seal. How do they do? These vibrations will break down the hydrogen bonds and ultimately resulting in a cut at a higher frequency. At a lower frequency they will be resulting in the seal. Usually when I talk about this instrument, can you focus on this instrument? This is a harmonic scalpel. Students, this is also a harmonic scalpel. What is the difference? This is a hand, this is, this is for open and this is for the lab. I have others also. I have already shown them in different series, but here I have brought only two for you for the comparison. Now, if you focus on this jaw, if you focus on this jaw, can you see there's a black jaw and this black jaw is a piezoelectric material. So lower jaw is active jaw. And can you focus on this jaw? Can you see the white portion on this jaw? This is a Teflon coated jaw, which is an inactive jaw. So when we talk about harmonic scalpel, always understand that there are two jaws. One is inactive, which is the upper jaw and one is active, which is the lower jaw. Now this is different because many of you are confused between harmonic and a ligature. When we talk about ligature, actually it is a smart bipolar. So today I'm showing you N-seal. So N-seal is from Johnson & Johnson, ligature is from. Can you see the jaws? Can you show the jaws? These two jaws are same. Unlike these two jaws, where both the jaws are different, these two jaws are same. So this is a smart bipolar. Remember, let me tell you one very interesting thing. The bipolars, the smart bipolars are for the purpose of seal. But the harmonics are for the purpose of cut also and seal also. Remember, bipolars are working on the current princi principle of current and they are working on the ultra -C con you can say technology now let me tell you what is this system all about the most important thing that we have is this handpiece this is the ultrasonic transducer which is actually this is there's a there's a cavity here to which this ultrasonic transducer will go and once it has gone remember you need to rotate this instrument to tighten it up Further to tighten it up, we have a tightener and this is going. So the moment you have two and half rounds, it is okay. And now this is out. Once you have, you can say connected this, the next thing is this is your ultrasonic generator. This is very, very, very important. Now the machine that I am showing to you is the, you can say the latest one. This is the generation 11. I have already shown you generation three and generation four in my OT. This is a gen 11. Now what's the difference between the older and the new one? The older were hardware based and this is totally, totally, totally chip based. So microprocessor based and I have switched it on. And remember once, let me tell you how to use this machine. So once you have switched it on, there will be a display. Can you show? This is showing starting up. So you have to wait patiently for the machine to get calibrated. And then very important thing is this notch. Can you see this is a notch? Remember this instrument is having a white dot. This white dot should go. And remember even this white dot has not gone. Can you see it has, it has gone inside? And now just see there will be a click sound. So still it is not connected. This is a click sound. And this machine is identifying the instrument. This is what is very, very, very important. Once this instrument has been identified, can you see the machine is showing activate the instrument. So for that, you can use this pedal. So this is a pedal. This is a foot pedal that we have. And can you see now the machine is active. Now, if you see, there are two modes shown here. One is three and one is five. I can keep this to low also. So I have kept it at a lower frequency. Whenever we talk about the frequency, they are oscillating. The lower blade is oscillating at a frequency of 11,000 Hertz. So two means 20,000, 22,000 Hertz, five means 55. So I have kept two settings in this. Just see, let me show you how this works. So this is the instrument. I have 
just got the tissue and now I can use this machine. So this I'm I'm not activated the hand switch. So just see I am pressing the I'm pressing the maximum. Can you see this is working here? Okay. Okay, can you see this is working here? Now when I press the minimum, the sound is different and this is how the tissue is cooked. Remember there are two jaws, upper jaw and a lower jaw. Upper jaw is actually a Teflon jaw. Why? Imagine that I am operating this instrument around the stomach. Now if this also, if this jaw is also conducting the energy, the vibrations will knock off and tear or perforate the nearby organ or the vessel so suppose it is in contact with any tissue don't worry but if this jaw this active jaw is in contact with the tissue this will always knock down the tissue so remember harmonic scalpel is a novel innovation why it is a novel innovation because it is you can say it is uh, coagulating the tissue cutting the tissue at only 78 to 100 78 to 82 degrees centigrade whereas a conventional monopolar if you use it to cut the skin or cut any tissue it is cutting at somewhere around 400 degrees celsius so the tissue charring is minimal and that is why why it is known as a harmonic scalpel only this blade if you use this blade and you can cut that skin you can cut anything with this it's a cold dissection basically not a very high grade of thermal dissection is uh, done here remember this is all about the harmonic and without this instrument majority of the laparoscopic surgeries might become more tedious so this is a machine which is gen 11 and the same generator will support the end seal also so in this instrument i can attach in this machine i can attach my, my you can say harmonic scalpel also and my end seal also remember i have another instrument the generator is the the hand piece for open is different for lap is different for open it is quite fine and we can use this same attachment for this remember this hand piece has a countable use it can be used for 100 uses only so if you connect it once and you use it in a surgery it is counted after 100 instruments after 100 counts the machine will say replace the instrument so this is what is very important and i hope you enjoyed this lecture this small session on harmonics